children. Brazil is turning to genetically modified mosquitoes, which produce offspring that die before they can start to spread the virus. And the technique does appear to be having some success. As Wera Davis now reports from Sao Paulo. Releasing hundreds of thousands of fertile mosquitoes into the suburbs of Brazil's biggest city in the middle of a mosquito-driven health crisis. It might seem perverse, but these are genetically modified Addis aegypti, the very species responsible for transmitting Zika and dengue fever. When they mate, they'll pass on a self-limiting gene. What does it mean for their offspring? Well, the offspring will die before they become new flying adults, which is uh, the life stage that matters for disease transmission. So they're going to die while they're larvae. Here we just have freshly hatched eggs and we have some really tiny larvae on their first day of life. This British-owned lab says the technique has reduced by over 90% the number of mosquitoes in some areas. Fed on a smelly mixture of fish food and sheep's blood, mosquito production is in overdrive. This technology was developed in the UK. Indeed, all of these mosquitoes are descendants from the first eggs brought over from Oxford in 2002. Now they produce about 2 million male mosquitoes here every week, and they're released into the general population to help in the fight against viruses like Zika and Dengue. <laughs> Zika is suspected of being responsible for a surge in microcephaly in Brazil. Confirmed cases have almost doubled and suspected ones are much higher. The government's announced help for poorer families, but the wider financial and social impact could be huge. At Sao Paulo's world-renowned Butantan Institute, they're famous for research into anti-venom and the production of biopharmaceuticals. But now there's a new priority, finding a vaccine for Zika and they're starting from scratch. We still need to really uh, describe and establish the link between the Zika virus and microcephaly, for example. But we do have the hypothesis that that relationship uh, basically is uh, true. But again, we need to demonstrate in order to even guide us to develop the best treatment or the best vaccine to prevent that problem. Trying to keep calm in the final weeks of pregnancy is not easy for expectant mothers in Brazil. At the beginning, we were very worried. Um, my husband, he kept uh, putting on uh, repellent on me all day. So I just get used to that. Developing a Zika vaccine could take 10 years. And with so much uncertainty about the illness, it's a time of real anxiety for many Brazilians. Ura Davis, PBC News, Sao Paulo.